Hello, welcome Taurus, and hi everyone. I'm Jane, I'm the Violet Sage. I'm a psychic medium, spiritual minister, Reiki master teacher, author, and creator of many items, remedies, classes, and more. I've been doing these things for over 26 years now. I incorporate my gifts and what my guides tell me into these readings, and I can also be found on Facebook and TikTok under The Violet Sage. And you can check out these things I create, sell, classes, and services that I offer too at TheVioletSage.com. So welcome, Taurus. Welcome to your monthly Zodiac horoscope reading. Uh, these are based on your sun sign, the one you're born under, but your zodiac and astrology chart has many other aspects to highly consider, such as your rising and moon signs. If you're born on a cusp, which is when your birth date lands on or is close to the end or beginning of another sign, you can most times find a free astrology chart online so that you can zero in on your rising and moon signs because you may want to listen to them as well because sometimes they may resonate with you more in some months than your sun sign will. So please remember these are general readings because of those facts. And for a more accurate reading specifically for you, please contact me at the information you see below at the Violet Sage at AOL.com. And please put reading in the subject line so I'm sure to find it amongst my trillions of junk mail. Uh, I do many other types of readings and broadcasts, so please join us every Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also give us a thumbs up so that you'll be notified that any of these broadcasts become available. So it's important to subscribe. I also do monthly drawings to win prizes. And you too can get an entry by donating to this channel. And the many ways to donate and other information is scrolling through below. And you'll find that our other weekly shows have been very accurate. So uh, take a chance, get a free reading, hop on there, especially on our lives. And that's that. All right. So we had already pulled the first card here for you, Taurus. This is resilience. Rise above the tribulation. So yes, this may indeed be a bit of a trying time here, but it's all bringing you to where you need to be. So um, I feel like some of you have placed these challenges before you things that maybe you've done in the past or people that you may have associated with this sort of thing um also you know the staircase goes both ways it goes up and it goes down so where do you want to be on that staircase in life right now so rise above the tribulations that are coming know that you're better than this and that this is just a trying time for you and don't forget it's never really what happens it's how you react to what happens that is truly the test and because every decision a reaction has a reaction so this is kind of where you are right now this month all right let's move this over and the next card we have pulled for you is the goddess of the sacred path let go of logic and trust your feelings so this means you have a much bigger role to play than you believe you do so you are on a sacred path thus the staircase thus going through all this be needing to be resilient because better things are coming and there's opportunities everywhere it's just what is it that you're going to take advantage of right now so goddess of the sacred path let go of logic and trust your feelings what does your gut tell you and they're not feelings of so much of your heart because your heart and your head can mislead you but if it makes your heart sing, it's like, oh, I really want to maybe do this craft or, you know, I've been in this dead end job, but music is really where my soul sings. And then maybe you need to pursue that. So again, it may not be logical, like, wow, I don't know how I'm going to afford this. But if it's something that's really deep seated and embedded in you and what you'd like to do, that's what you should do. Um, well, hey, how about this? Maybe I'm not into this relationship anymore. I feel so stifled. It's not getting me anywhere. You know, he may be a nice guy. She may be a nice girl, but the energy is not getting me where I need to go. I feel like I'm living for this person. They're nice, but I can't go anywhere and do anything. I can't talk to people. I, you know, I can't travel around like I'd like to then pursue that. Now, all right. I just got this little thing in my head like, oh, yeah, for people who want to travel around and stuff and you have a pet now, 
you don't want your pet to be abandoned either. So, you know, it's make right choices for yourself. If you know you have this long and eventually you're going to be traveling around and you're not going to be able to have that pet, then maybe you shouldn't adopt or purchase or whatever it is you're doing. Really be careful and think about other people that you or an animals, <laughs> defenseless creatures <laughs> that can't fend for themselves. Basically people can fend for themselves. They may not seem like they have the ability, but even handicapped people, I mean, I'm handicapped to a point I can fend for myself. You know, there's there's ways, truly, um, finding a mentor, a person that helps to take care of people that maybe you can't fend for. Because, again, you don't really want to stifle your energy. Your energy is really important. And you have to be resilient. You are about to come up and face some really important challenges. And the information that I'm getting from Spirit right now it's, I feel that some of these are major life choices that you have to make. So, you know, you can consider everyone involved, but ultimately, where do you think you're going to do your best work on this earth? Think of that. Okay. Because the next card, you're really a powerful being. Um, when I pull this card, I can't tell if I pulled this card right side up or upside down. So... With the high priestess here, I that's some pretty powerful stuff. But if it was reversed, this means you're not working with your power. You're working against it or you're letting other people work against it. So where are you at in this? Are you using your power to benefit you, the world? Now, maybe you need to do a little bit of meditating on this because you have a lot of power. You have the power to do and search out your desires and your goals and to get it done. So who do you choose to be? You can do this. All right. Trinket, Trinket Spirit, Trinket for Taurus for 2022, June 2022. All right. We got the paintbrush here. So this means you do have some sort of flair so our some artistic ability of some sort. You are creative in ways. It doesn't have to be actual painting artwork. It could be that you are a genius at making charts or, or organizing people's homes. I mean, it could literally be anything, but it's time to tap, in, tap into your creative talents. Your sacred path is calling you. Sacred path. See that? So we you know, got to need to work on that. All right, so let's go ahead and the stone that was picked for you is garnet. So garnet, garnet is good for your blood, your health, detoxification, this sort of thing. So if you've been maybe challenged with some health issues, wearing garnet could be just the thing for you. And so the purif purification, detoxification is time to release physical and energetic toxins from uh-huh. From your, I keep thinking, seeing physical bodies keeps coming to me from your life. So are there negative people around you? Is your job toxic? You know, is your relationship toxic? You know, some people live at home and they're with their mom or their dad or whatever. And it's toxic yet yeah, again, you know, it's something keeps coming to me. Maybe it's for one of you or some of you. Like if you are the caretaker for your parent, I mean, you love them, but yet your whole life's been on hold. There are care centers that can care for them. There's, if you have enough money to do so, or if their insurance will cover it, you got people that will come in and take care of them certain hours of the day. I mean, I, I hate to say nursing homes to people, but sometimes you don't have the energy or may not be capable of taking care of them the way they really need to be taken care of. So, I mean, these are things that you really have to look at. I really felt that this is a message for somebody and I don't know who, so I'm sorry. Um, but what is weighing you down? Truly figure that out. Is it you? You yourself can be holding you back too. So um, we're going to go ahead and ask Google what this garnet also can cover. Because don't forget, you are the high priestess. You have a lot of gifts to share. You have some creating to do. 
Ooh, that can be very, very beneficial and helpful for you. Hey, is that something how that rhymes, right? What are the metaphysical properties of garnet? Be nice if this thing would start answering me, really. Garnet cleanses and re-energizes the chakras. It revitalizes, purifies, and balances energy, bringing serenity or passion as appropriate inspires love and of course i had to click on this to go a little further so give me a moment it okay inspires love and devotion garnet balances the sex drive and alleviates emotional disharmony it activates and strengthens the survival instinct bringing courage and hope stimulates past life recall sharpens perceptions of oneself and others garnet removes inhibitions and taboos it opens the heart and bestows self-confidence garnet regenerates the body and stimulates the metabolism and treats disorders of the spine and spinal fluid bone cellular structure and composition it purifies the heart lungs blood and regenerates dna garnet boosts the immune system and energy levels garnet is like an awesome awesome stone as you can tell so oh, let's uh check into some garnet huh all right so i hope this has been of some help for you today and uh what we would like to make sure that you, please put any positive comments in the comment section don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it really helps us with the algorithms. We really need to reach our goal of a thousand viewers. So if anybody you can share, that'd be willing to like and subscribe. We need a thousand subscribers. That really, really helps us out here a lot. So don't forget to check us out and pass along to your friends. Much love and light to you all. And don't forget to check out the four element readings. All right. Have a wonderful June. Namaste.